Welcome to the 25th anniversary of Puente at Fresno City College. The statewide Puente program was developed in 1981 by Felix Galavis, a counselor, and Patricia McGrath, an English instructor from Chabot College in Hayward, California. The program was created to address the barriers among Latino students. With this in mind, Puente was implemented in 1987 to increase student transfer rates. You know, in those late 1980s, uh, there was a lot of discussion going on at community colleges about the lack of success Mexican-American Latino students were having in, in completing the one-year English cycle to transfer on to a university, a UC or a CSU. And so the, the campus was in discussion and we were looking for a program that could satisfy the, the lack of success for Latinos. That was the English department and the dean, Car Dr. Carl Waddell, who was advocating some kind of solution. And Debbie Keita was our dean in counseling. So together we, we um, established the Puente Project. Well, you know, the general mission of the college is to provide services to students and providing programs, innovative programs that enable students to be successful. And Puente fits right into that in terms of you know, these are students that were able to serve. We provide the services that they're needed, that they need rather, and uh, we get them ready to move on. And the beautiful thing about it is that the majority of our students transfer in the Puente program. So I think it's, it's what the program in, in and of itself fits very nicely into the mi mission of the college. Well, when I started in Puente, and, um, I actually had the opportunity to attend two summer training uh, programs um, uh, sponsored by the state level Puente project. Uh, so that actually, in terms of the co-coordination uh, between the counselor and the instructor uh, and the instructor in the program, that sense of uniformity, of consistency, of bonding was established during those sessions. There were, um, I think, 10-day sessions uh, at UC Berkeley, which we met other uh, counselors and were part of, uh, counselors and instructors, and were part of the, uh, an extensive training. Um, that bonded us uh, together as, as um, as co-conspirators, so to speak, and, um, parents to the familia at the, uh, in, in, in the classroom when we started meet, meeting the uh, students. What's most appealing about Puente, I think, is the collaboration of support services and in the classroom environment. So the students are not only in classes, but they're also getting the support that they need to maneuver the educational environment, which for a lot of our students is new. Uh, so that was one of the, the first things that I learned about the program. I also had the opportunity to visit classes and sit in on classes and um, observe the interaction of students with the teacher and the students with the counselor, and both the counselor and the teachers working in tandem in the classroom. And it's a very dynamic uh, environment. The Puente model had some very good components. You know, usually you see the academic side and the, and the counseling side, but this one all had three, three components to it. First, the academics, uh, there was English writing skill being taught. The student was actually getting skills. The counseling component was there to help the student facilitate anything that they needed, uh, be it career counseling, educational counseling. So we were there to provide that means. And then the third component was a, a Puente mentor, which was a community person successful in their field that we would match the student. So if you were going into law, we'd give you a student that was interested in, or a, I'm, I'm sorry, a community mentor that was a, an attorney. So you had a match of a law student and attorney. I think one of the biggest challenges that I faced when I was coming here was just a, a sense of direction. Uh, I really didn't know where I was going to go, you know, even if I belonged. And uh, Puente was a good opportunity for me to, to, you know, get this close network and get people around me who, who believed in me, who actually thought that I could make something of myself. 
And I think that's one of the most important things. When I first became uh, affiliated, a part of uh, Puente, you know, one of the biggest things that um, I was going through was that, you know, I, I was uh, I was kind of living like a gang lifestyle. I, I was heavily involved in gangs and I was heavily involved in, in crime and drugs and, and things of that sort of nature. And, you know, when I came to school and I saw, you know, my uh, Michael Roberts, who was my English instructor, and Pat Byer, who was my counselor, and they actually believed in me. They actually treated me like a person and not like a number, not like a statistic, not like a criminal. When they actually saw something deeper inside of me, it really made me start to believe that I had something to offer the world, that I was something more than what I was, you know, allowing myself to be influenced by. You know, I don't remember facing a whole lot of challenges as um, a college student, but um, just one that kind of just, I remember very um, clearly that I, I struggled with. I come from a small community and um, graduated with a class of maybe a little over 100. So to me, it was, it was very small and the diversity wasn't uh, much at all. And um, transitioning from a small community high school into a larger college setting was very intimidating to me. And um, so when I got to Fresno City College, the culture was just so diverse and so different um, for me. And um, I felt a lot of intimidation and anxiety. Um, it wasn't really until I got um, into Puente that I started breaking out of my intimidation shell. Some of the challenges that I faced as an incoming community college student was not having a clear pathway and not understanding how to be successful in college. And also being able to balance financial responsibilities and responsibilities to be a student. That was something very hard and challenging for me, which caused me to have a lot of um, bad grades the first couple semesters. And I've been fortunate, fortunate to be a part of Puente, and you can see a huge dramatic improvement in my grades and my GPA. Being part of Puente contributed to my success through the whole learning uh, how to write well. I, I was always pretty good at reading, but writing I just wasn't good at, and not only that, I didn't want to learn because it intimidated me all through high school. It was just one of my hardest, hardest hurdles to jump through. And so being part of this and excelling in it really, really kind of gave me encouragement to go on and to even learn writing on my own as just, you know, a skill that I can pass on hopefully to other people and to help myself out as my college career continues. One might assume that when a student comes into the program such as this that they uh, have some background in Chicano Latino literature uh, but many times and often they don't and, and that sense of their uh, background, their own personal, cultural ba background, I believe is very important. Um, when uh, the students uh, are in the program and they read uh, poets and writers and uh, 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 authors who have similar backgrounds to them and, and have made it uh, uh, for themselves to become successful, uh, it helps them, helps the students gain some direction uh, for their own lives. If it wasn't for Puente, the Puente program, I don't think that I would have exposed myself to the Chicano literature that um, we did in the program. Um, it really allowed me to um, learn the history of different um, Chicanos as myself that um, their struggles and obstacles that they face that I never really had to experience as a child growing up. Um, I didn't have to work out on the farm or have, be part of the farm labor, or I didn't have to work at the age of 12 to help support my family. So, um, but reading about it was extremely interesting and um, it allowed me to go home to my father, which did work out in the fields and did have to um, work at the age of 10, 12 to help support his, his parents and his 11 siblings, um, so he came from a huge family. So it allowed me to go home to just kind of learn about his background and how it was for him, and this is what we're reading in my Puente class, and this is um, what I learned, and um, he just kind of, 
it helped uh, me really learn about him and his history and my ancestors and my grandparents and where they came from. So, um, and if it wasn't for the Puente program, I probably wouldn't have learned that, that stuff about my family. You know, initially I want to say that it was a wonderful experience. Being in a room with 30 Latino, sharp Latino students that were going to transfer to a CSU and UC was a wonderful experience. As far as difficulties, there weren't really any. Uh, we had to get mentors. I knew a lot of people in the community. I was active. We invited 35 people to participate in Puente and 33 said, yes, we want to participate with your students. Uh, the uh, students themselves had a little bit of difficulty meeting with the mentors. They were a bit intimidated. They weren't used to seeing so many successful Latinos. My role as a mentor has actually been really rewarding for me. Um, it has allowed me to connect um, with the students, um, not only in an academic level, which I'm very used to as my counseling position, but it, it really um, invites me or it allows a student to invite me into the world where I'm not just learning about what they want to be in the future or what their um, goals are and, and what they want to be when they grow up, but it allows me to get to know them on a personal level, and that's really rewarding. Being a mentor is an extremely rewarding position. If I were forced to describe Puente in one word, I think it would be pretty easy. Uh, you know, being a, uh, being a man who believes uh, deeply in God, um, believing that God has had a, a great effect on my life, um, blessing. Blessing is the word I would use. You know, I'm tempted to say, you know, I would say success, but ever since you sent me the question, I keep thinking and thinking and thinking about it. And I thought, I think, you know, the, the, the mantra that I think we always use is, si se puede. That's easy. Familia. If I could describe Puente in one word, I think it would be fundamental. Because English, reading and writing, all of that, is just the foundation you need for anywhere in college. You know, I gave it a lot of thought. You have little words like success or successful or different things. I came up with monumental. I think it had a monumental impact. A lot of students are succeeding because of the program. There's a huge amount of students whose lives have been changed just in obtaining writing skills, confidence, meeting with mentors. They're going to go on and they're going to be our future leaders and this time I mean it. We really, really helped them and they really came across and changed the face of Fresno City College. It is what it means. It, it's, it, it is a bridge. One thing means bridge. So it, it, it's, it's a link, it, it, uh, a cultural link uh, between uh, the student and where he's coming from as he, as he comes on to Fresno City College and where he's going in terms of his or her educational career. And if uh, I think that the um, uh, the originators, Pat McGrath and Felix Galavis, had that in mind when they saw that so many of the Chicano Latino students weren't being successful at the UCs, weren't transferring to four-year universities, particularly the University of California, even though the University of California was 10, 15 miles down the road from where they were. Uh, uh, teaching English and counseling their students. And so they needed that sense of connection between the student, the educational circumstances that the students were in, in the classroom, and uh, some kind of vision, some bridge to their future in terms of the university. That's what it means. The impact of, of Puente within the college is that it meets a need. You know, we have so many of our um, Latino students who, you know, we all know what the numbers are. Um, you know, they're not transferring and they're not succeeding at the same rate as other students are. And I think this is a way, it's a demonstrated and successful way of providing those services and the opportunities for students to be successful. I, I think at this point I'd really like to 
you know, thank all the work that uh, everyone involved with Puente has done. You know, I remember when I started, it was Charlie Lines and Frank Quintana and, you know, then Judy Ryan and, and then others. Um, and I think that in addition to the students, they're really the heroes of this because the commitment that they have, not just to the program, but more importantly to the students in the program and to the possibility of, of helping students and seeing them out there and realizing the potential of students and not giving up on students. I think that just speaks volumes for what we do as an institution. And I say that not because it's specific to Puente, but it does represent what Fresno City is all about. I'm a Puentista. 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 We are Puente. Thank you. We hope you remember your support contributes to the success of our students. Style. And I represent the key, we the truest around.